Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Martin, and we're here again for the third installment in our video uh, enrichment for Introduction to Drawing. Today I want to talk about a technique called contour line drawing, and it's actually a group of techniques. I'm going to show you today examples of the simplest kind of in, um, contour line drawing, and I'm also going to show you, give you a little demonstration of how to do it. We will also talk about the other types so that you can recognize them when you see them. So follow along. These are some examples of contour line drawing that I found out on the internet with just a simple search for contour line drawing. Notice how complex they are. Even though they're not shaded, they show the edges of every physical feature, but also the edges of all the shadows and the highlights. Some of them show more than others. The skull showed a lot. This one doesn't show very much at all, but it does show the edges of all of the objects in the room. This reclining female figure really has everything I want you to capture. It has all of the physical edges and all of the textures, but it also has all of the edges of shadows and highlights. So that's what contour line drawing looks like. Now how do we do it? Well, step number one is to be very, very focused. It requires absolute concentration to do a good job with a contour line drawing. For that reason, I'm going to ask you not to talk while you're doing it. Don't get involved in something else when you're doing your contour line drawing. So here we go. Now I'm hoping everybody's got a pretty good view and I'll describe what I'm doing as I'm doing it so that it's a, a little easier to follow along. Um, the first thing that I do is I look at the photograph which is out of the picture here but there is a photograph of my hand and as I look at it I really do try to concentrate until I know what I'm going to draw. I don't start until my attention is really focused to a pinpoint almost again like a laser pointer is tucked behind my ear and it's putting a uh, it's putting a dot on the picture so now I start to follow that laser pointer line on the photograph and as I'm doing it I bring that line uh, along on my paper with my pencil and it is not a drawing that is generally done very very quickly you spend time on this type of drawing because you do have to balance the manner in which your eyes are moving uh, with the movement of your hand on the paper. It's a little challenging to try to do this right now for you because I'm using the viewfinder of my um, cell phone again uh, as I did in other videos as my eyes here. That makes things a little bit challenging. I'm going to lift my pencil. Now I told you that I would discuss other types of uh, contour line drawings and now seems as good a time as any while I'm doing this. One type of uh, contour line drawing is called the continuous contour line drawing and the difference between what I'm doing here and a continuous contour line drawing is that when you're doing a continuous contour line drawing you never lift your pencil off of the paper and you're, you're really looking down at your paper very minimally you're really not spending a lot of time looking at what you're drawing well, I shouldn't say looking at your drawing. You spend all of your time looking at the subject of your drawing so that you can get it accurate. Um, I'm not doing that type of drawing today. I am lifting my pencil if I feel like I need to lift it. I don't lift it a lot, but sometimes I feel like I need to. Here's a really great example of a continuous contour line drawing that I downloaded from the internet. And you can see that it's continuous because the line never breaks. And you can see how the artist had to move back and forth over areas in order to get from one area to the next if there wasn't some shadow line or feature line that they had to follow. The pencil never lifts off of the paper. If it would, this would all be over. Now, there are other ways, and, and uh, one of the most fun, I don't know how useful it really, really is, but one of the most fun ways to do contour line drawing is something called a blind contour drawing. Now, in a blind contour drawing, it's just exactly what it seems like. You put a piece of paper between yourself and your paper that you're drawing on. And then you do a continuous contour line drawing, uh, looking only at the subject and never at your drawing. Um, it, it generally is, uh, it's a lot of fun because it leads to some really interesting drawings when you're finished. And see that I'm going through now um, and I'm just following along and if I see a shadow like in here this is a shadow. If I see a shadow I'm outlining that shadow. If I see a bright highlight and I'm gonna and I do see one and I'm going to outline it for you right now. Um, if I see a bright highlight like this little spot right here which is the lightest spot on my hand um, and I will flash over to the uh, to the photograph in just a little bit. But if I see anything like that, 
I am trying to record it just by outlining it. I'm not going to shade this drawing. This drawing is not a sketch that's going to be shaded later. It's not that kind of drawing at all. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. So it's not a preliminary sketch. It's not a cartoon. Uh, in a cartoon, it'll also be only line drawings, but it will be intentionally simplified. Um, it may or may not be drawn from life, but one of the things that's important to understand about it is that in a cartoon, a lot of it is not from observation, but more from a more from a stylized sense of what the drawing ought to look like. This I'm actually working from life, well, in this case a photograph, but um, I'm working from something real. I'm not using my imagination to modify it too, too much. And in fact, I'm not doing that intentionally at all. It, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I'm not doing it on purpose. Yeah, I have to go. I mean, even for me, um, I would say that this is a very fast drawing. I'm not sure how much of a demo you want to sit through. So I am trying to hurry it along, but I would th I would say that even for me, and I'm pretty skilled, um, this is uh, faster than I would recommend going through uh, contour line drawing. Go the you know the more slowly you go and the more careful you are in your observations, the better the results that you're going to get. This isn't too shabby. I mean, I'm not disappointed in it, but it's uh, but it is a rather quick interpretation of this photograph. But I'm going to show you, uh, going to show you my drawing, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you my photograph. So there's the photograph, and there's my drawing. So that's how you do a straight contour line drawing. Uh, the next step really is for you to give it a try. So good luck.